guys, Spawn from Pasa King Roy. So second job of the day, customer called regarding a water heater fault. The RCD is dripping, so stick with us. We're gonna go and have a look and we'll find out what it is. We'll just have a look at the uh, RCD. So we've got the off-peak water heater. We can see that it's off. So we'll just... Okay, so we know there's a problem there. So we'll, um, we'll go around to the water heater and go and inspect that. Okay, so we've got the water heater. So as you can see, it looks like the uh, cover's been off before. And yeah, she's all corroded out. And then you can get a close up there. So, so as you can see, it's all um, it's all rusted out. So what we'll do, we'll make it safe, get it disconnected. We'll get the water heater changed, reconnected back up. And uh, yeah, we'll get this fixed for the customer. Just back to the water heater. So here we have new water heater installed. It's terminated, and as you can hear, she's just filling up at the moment. So that's all terminated. What we'll go and do? We've just tested the cable. Everything's fine. We'll just go and switch the RCD on and see how that goes. So we'll just show you the water heater. So this is obviously what happens over time. The tank just starts to corrode out. So as you can see, your heating element in the back, your thermostat, is basically where it starts to go. But even from underneath, if you don't keep these off the ground, that's why we always put a slab in, um, the ripple slab, that just stops the water build up from underneath. Um, you can obviously see here where the uh, water has been escaping. It's come out through the conduit hole and then it started to track back through the cable. Yeah, so keep an eye on your water heaters, guys.